So you want to play Quidditch, huh? Awesome, let's get started. Quidditch is played on a field approximately the size of a basketball court. You will need to be riding a broomstick the whole time. You don't need to have any broomstick. You could use a lacrosse stick, or a rake, or a hockey stick, maybe even a wet noodle. Remember, you need to be riding your broomstick the entire time. Any play made not on your broomstick will not count. Positions. There are four main positions in Quidditch. Chaser, beater, seeker, keeper. Those are the four. Chasers are one of the main roles of Quidditch. Chasers run up and down the field along with the keeper and pass the quaffle back and forth to each other and attempt to score goals. Yay, 10 points. Chasers are allowed to strip the ball from each other and are occasionally allowed to tackle each other. Please don't go overboard and go for the neck. Beaters. Beaters are like bullies on the playing field. Beaters use bludgers, grr. Bludgers can be thrown hard or softly, but they have to be thrown. If they hit another player, they have to drop the ball that they are holding, run around their own goals, and then rejoin play. Even if you aren't carrying a ball, bludgers can be blocked by quaffles. Or if you are a keeper, you are immune if you are close to your goals. If a bludger is caught by another beater, nothing happens. The seeker is the final position in Quidditch. The seeker's job is to look for the snitch. There he is. Good luck trying to catch him though, because he is usually a cross country runner with wrestling experience. The snitch has a sock-like flag tucked into his waistband in which the seeker tries to catch. By doing so, the game is over and the team whose seeker caught the snitch is awarded 30 points. In order to start a game, all the balls are lined up in midfield, including the snitch. The snitch is then asked to leave while everyone closes their eyes. Bye snitch, have a good time. Once the snitch is gone, the announcer yells, brooms up. Everyone rushes to the center and the game begins. Believe it or not, Quidditch is very tiring. Make sure you get a lot of rest and play safely. On behalf of all of us here at the University of Vermont Quidditch Club, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I wish you a lot of fun playing Quidditch.